Death at the Masked Ball Mayor Robert Winston hosts a masked ball at his mansion. During the ball, one of the guests, socialite Olivia Taylor, is found dead in the garden. Detective Hernandez is assigned to investigate the case. Hernandez learns that Olivia was strangled to death. Hernandez questions the guests and discovers that each of them had a motive for killing Olivia. He finds out that Olivia had a heated argument with the mayor's wife, Susan Winston, earlier that evening. Hernandez starts to suspect Susan as the prime suspect. Hernandez also discovers that Olivia was having an affair with the mayor's business partner, John Smith. Hernandez starts to suspect John Smith as a possible suspect. He also discovers that Olivia had been blackmailing some of the guests, including the mayor and Susan, for their secret affairs and business deals. Hernandez starts to suspect that Olivia's blackmailing activities may have led to her murder. Hernandez also discovers that one of the guests is missing, socialite Richard Gray. Hernandez finds Richard Gray's dead body in a hidden room in the mansion. Gray had overdosed on drugs and had a suicide note, which is a possible motive for Olivia's murder. Hernandez finds a pair of gloves in the hidden room that matches the gloves used to strangle Olivia. Hernandez finds out that the gloves belong to John Smith. Smith confesses to murdering Olivia because she threatened to expose his illegal business dealings. Hernandez discovers that Susan Winston had no involvement in the murder. Hernandez also finds out that Richard Gray had been involved in a drug deal with Smith and had threatened to reveal it to the mayor. Hernandez suspects that Smith may have killed Gray to prevent him from exposing his involvement in the drug deal. Hernandez finds evidence linking Smith to Gray's death as well and charges him.